My name is Craig Pedick. I'm the Vice President of Egg Products with AGP or Egg Processing uh, based out of Omaha, Nebraska. My primary role is uh, promoting anything that leaves our plants in a rail car and the exports through the Port of Grace Harbor. AGP is a cooperative soybean crusher. We currently have 10 production crush plants and we currently have an 11th facility that we've announced that will be, begin construction very soon. We process about 25,000 acres of, of soybeans every day and we're the largest cooperative soybean crusher west of the Mississippi. So what that means for us is being a cooperative, any earnings that we generate at the end of the year, we pass back to our cooperative members who are in turn owned by farmers which then share in, in those profits with, with their members. One of the advantages that AGP has is obviously being the cooperative model, being able to source soybeans from our owners when, when times get tight, whether that be due to carry out issues or production issues, or, or even when margins get tight to be able to lean on our owners to supply us beans uh, when, when they may be looking towards other opportunities. So over the years, it's been a relationship, a business model that that has worked quite well. The biggest thing for AGP is we want to run our plants near capacity all year long, where you look at crushers that in other countries or other markets, they're a lot more se seasonal on their run rates. They run very hard after harvest, maybe for the first three or four months and then tail down as the supply of crop or profitability goes down. And the U.S. typically runs at a very high percent 12 months out of the year, where we don't want to become seasonal, a seasonal crusher like the other markets. We want to maintain an even crush all year long. And if we can't get it rid of the meal, we're going to become a seasonal crusher. So getting rid of the meal will help ensure that, that we have a market for the beans 12 months out of the year. We focus on, on the export of meal because our, our core business is soybean processing. You know, if we can't run our plants, our 10 plants, soon to be 11 plants, 24-7, 365 days a year, you know, we're not going to be providing a, a market or return for, for our owners. In the past, the U.S. consumed the majority of the U.S. production of meal, and we just had to export what was left over. Uh, but now with the soybean crush expanding nearly 25 percent, all that meal is going to have to, additional meal is going to have to find a home, and that's, that's what we're going to focus on going forward here. So Grays Harbor has seen tremendous growth over the years. It's been a, been a slow and steady climb on the business. You know, as we built that market and expanded the soy crush to also offer product to the export channels. Uh, so in, in coming years, as we need to export 12 to 13 million ton historically to up to 23, 4 or 5 million metric ton. Southeast Asia is going to be a, an important market for us as their markets are, are very large over there and, and the P&W has a favorable freight spread out of there versus other origins. So that's going to be a key market for us to, to move the U.S. meal, which does have a preference over there. Southeast Asia is a growth market and it will continue to grow. They're adding a lot of jobs to their economy over there. Their middle class is growing. But secondly, the, the main thing will just be some displacement within the market too is the U.S. becomes more of a meal exporter and possibly less of a bean exporter. You know, those, those bean exports will have to come from somewhere else. There'll be some give and take, but the market will figure this out. That's what the market does. At AGP, uh, we currently export our product through the Port of Grace Harbor out in Aberdeen, Washington, a facility that, that we've had. That we've, last expansion was done in 2014. That uh, facility is, is nearing capacity. so. To absorb this extra crush that's coming on, we're going to build a new export terminal at Terminal 4 within the Port of Grace Harbor. So that'll give us two terminals out there to where we can load two different boats at the same time, but also help give us some redundancy should we have any uh, issues uh, with one terminal or another. We have a, we have a backup uh, with some extra capacity to, to keep the rail cars moving. Mm -hmm.